So today's video, we are going to discuss about CMOS two input or multiple input NAND gate operation. Okay, one fixed question uh, for uh, when we consider the exam point of view, that is final exam point of view. For six to seven marks, this question would be definitely asked. Okay, that is com completely explain the construction part, circuit part, and the working part of the two input CMOS NAND gate operation. Okay. So that along uh, uh, the explanation along with the circuits with each uh, uh, steps uh, of the logical uh, two input uh, uh, sets we are going to discuss it okay. So please uh, watch the video thoroughly guys watch till end if you want to understand each and every steps okay. So let us start now. A two input NAND gate first let us see what is a two input NAND gate. A two input NAND gate is constructed using the concepts which is introduced earlier in the video which I have already told. The design is based on Karnoff map or K map analysis. So, this analysis part I am not going to explain now, which helps to determine the required circuit structure. First, understanding the NAND gate construction. Okay, the construction of NAND gate that using a CMOS logic, it consists of pull down network as well as pull up network. Okay, I have already told you what is this pull down and pull up means. A pull down network which connects the output to 0 volt or VSS follows an AND structure. This means the output is pulled to zero when both inputs A and B are one. Okay, so this is the meaning of that pull down. Next is pull up network, which connects the output to five volt. That is, it is connected directly to the supply supply voltage VDD, which follows an OR structure. Okay, it ensures that the output remains one when either A or B is zero. Okay, so this is the basic uh, layout. Of how the pull up and pull down network the transistors are getting used and how the circuit is drawn. Okay. Thus, the PMOS transistors form a parallel OR network, ensuring that the circuit produce, produces the correct NAND logic. Okay. That is when both inputs are one, pull down network activates, making the output zero according to the NAND operation. Otherwise, the pull up network ensures the output remains one. Okay. So, this is the table here. This complementary structure ensures that the NAND gate functions correctly. So, this is the NAND gate truth table here mentioned here. Go through it. So, these are the two input A, A input and B input. So, if we have two inputs, we will be definitely having four combinations that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Uh, when, uh, uh, when the input is 0, 0, the first N switch that is it is off. Then uh, second, that is input B and switch is off. P switch is B uh, for uh, A and B, the P switches are on. So the output would be 1. When it is 0, 1, N switch would be off. So I have already told you the N switch, when it is 0, the it would be in, it would be in off state. Where, whereas uh, again, this is 1. So for B input, the N switch would be in on state. Similarly, uh, the uh, opposite of that for P switch, when uh, it is the input is 0, the P switch would be in on state. and uh, when the input is 1, the P, uh, P switch would be in off state. So, resulting output is 1 according to the NAND gate root table. Similarly, for the other two logics also, it is mentioned here. Okay. Yeah. Next, a NAND gate not of AND is one of the fundamental logic gates in digital circuits. It produces an output of 0 only when both the inputs are 1. Okay. Otherwise, the output remains 1. Uh, see, you could see the truth table here. When both the inputs are 1, then only the output is 0. Then for, for rest all the combinations, the output is 1. Okay. Working of the NAND gate. The NAND gate is designed using two NMOS transistors in series for the pull down network and two PMOS transistors in parallel for the pull up net. Okay. The PMOS structure works as the logical complement of the NMOS structure. A properly used most complementary in most complementary CMOS logic gates. Okay, so this works as a logical complement or the dual. Okay, when we examine the truth table and switching behavior, we can see that the circuits operate as the circuit operates as a NAND function. Okay, we would see that circuit diagram also in detail. First, uh, see, let us see some of the key features of this uh, CMOS NAND gate. Okay, first is it ensures full supply voltage at the output side. The full supply voltage is ensured at the output side. Okay. Next is no need for transitional rationing like NMOS gates. You could see the explanation later. Prevention of direct current flow from VDD to VSS. Okay, the direct current flow is uh, 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 prevented using this CMOS NAND gate. Okay. 
in CMOS NAND gates, uh, it does it does not happen because NMOS and PMOS transistors switch in a complementary manner, ensuring that there is a never a direct conductive path from VDD to VSS. This makes the CMOS circuits highly power efficient, particularly for a battery operated devices. Okay, so scaling up the NAND gate for multiple inputs. Okay, so this is also given here. It's not required, but uh, if you want, you can pause the video and uh, note this explanation down. Okay. So this was about the complete explanation of the circuit. Now let us see the circuit diagram and analyze, okay, how this uh, NAND gate works, okay. So see here, NAND gate. The Boolean expression for NAND gate is mentioned as, as above, okay. That is y is equal to a dot b the whole bar, okay. So in CMOS operation, PMOS are connected in parallel and NMOS are connected in series, okay, for, for AND operation. And for uh, OR operation, that is plus operation, PMOS are connected in series and NMOS are connected in parallel, okay. So, see here, so this is the circuit diagram of a two input CMOS NAND gate, okay. Please observe very carefully. So, here I have already told you, right, according to my explanations in the previously, which I have told in this video. The PMOS transistors, two since it is a two input, so PMOS transistors are connected in a series, uh, are connected in parallel in the pull up stage. Okay, what is a pull up network? I've told you the pull up network directly connects to the VDD or the 5 volt, and pull down network directly connects to the VSS or the 0 volt ground. Okay, so here in the pull up part, the two PMOS transistors are connected in series, the two input A and B, whereas in the pull down part, the two NMOS transistors A and B are connected in. Parallel. Okay, so this is one simple two input CMOS NAND gate circuit. Okay, so this is the symbol of NAND gate uh, as you know. Now let us see its uh, working, how it is worked. Okay, according to that, how the truth table is produced. So this is the truth table of NAND gate. I've already told you when the two inputs are one, then only the logic output is zero. Otherwise, the, in, uh, the output is one for all the three combinations. Okay. The figure 1 shows the two input NAND gate. It consists of two series NMOS transistors between Y and ground, okay, as mentioned here, and two parallel PMOS transistors between Y and VDD, okay, you could see here. Now, for each case, for each combination, let us see how the circuit works using, uh, by uh, converting the NMOS and PMOS transistors into their corresponding switches, okay. Let us see how it works. Now, first when A equal to 0 and B equal to 0. That is A, A is 0 and B is 0. When A is 0 and B is 0, the PMOS transistors, these two PMOS transistors would be in on state. That is, I have already told you when the, the PMOS is acted as a switch and when the uh, input given is 0, the switch is in on state. That is, the switch would be in the closed condition. Okay. So, the, out, uh, the input is 1. So, a switch would be in on state. But for a uh, and most circuits, the switch would be in off state. So similarly, uh, the switch diagram is mentioned here for this case. That is, P1, P2 transistor. Since the two transistors are on, the switch is closed here. And this, since these two transistors are off, the switch is open here. Okay. So see here, from here, the current flow starts. Okay. From here, since the switch is closed, the current is passed through this path here. But here, uh, it cannot go down because the, these two switches are open here. So, the current won't flow from here. It would be flowing from VDD to output itself. That is 1. Okay. So, that's why here for this combination, the output is 1. That is for when A is 0, B is 0, the output Y is equal to 1. Okay. So, when it is 0, when the, that I will tell you, when it reaches Y, then we the output is 1. Okay. So, the explanation is given here. When A equal to 0 and B equal to 0, the P1 and P2 are in on state and N1 and N2 are in off state. Hence, P1 and P2 acts as a closed switch, as I already told you, and N1 and N2 acts as an open switch, okay. So, these explanations are required if you want to get full marks, okay. For all the four combinational out, uh, inputs, you should be writing the circuit diagram, the transistor state, whether it is in on or off state, along with that, the uh, uh, corresponding switch diagram of PMOS and NMOS transistors. For each case, it is required, okay. Next, when A equal to 0 and B equal to 1, when A equal to 0, the PMOS 1 PMOS transistor would be on. The second B PMOS transistor would be off. Similarly, when, when this is on, this would be off. When this is off, this would be on. Okay. So, draw the switch diagram here. You see here, this is on state, though so this switch is closed. So, this is off. So, this switch would be open. 
So here this is off, so this switch would be open. So this transistor is on, so this switch would be closed. Okay. So see here, since these two branches are connected in parallel, the current flow starts from here. Since uh, this is open, but this switch is closed, so from this part the current should be flowing, but it won't flow down here because here you see here there is one open space, so current would flow outside the circuit, so it won't reach the ground. So that's why here it stops here, and the output is again logic one. Okay. Similarly, the explanation is given here. Next, when A equal to 1 and B equal to 0, again, when A is 1, the transistor 1, P MOS transistor, this is in off state and this is in on state. So, when this is off, this would be on and when this is on, this would be off. So, uh, corresponding circuit diagram as switches is mentioned here. So, if, since this is off, this, uh, this P MOS switch is open. So, this is on, so this switch is closed. So, this is on, so again this switch is closed and this is open. Okay. So, here again, since this switch is closed, so from here the, uh, the current flows, but it cannot flow here because here there is one out, uh, outlet here. So, that's why the current won't flow here. So, that's why it uh, terminates here itself. So, again the output is 1. Okay. So, again the explanation here given, you read it uh, once. So, for the last combination, that is when A equal to 1 and B equal to 1. So, when these both the inputs are 1, both the PMOS transistors would be off and both the NMOS transistor would be on. Okay. So that's why here you see here, uh, since these two transistors are off, so these two switches are open and these two switches are closed. So that's why here the current flow cannot be from here because if you start from here, the current won't be flowing to here. So that's why the current flow you should be starting always from the, because here the pull up part is nullified because they, we cannot have any current flow here. So, that's why the direct current flow will be starting from this part that is the pull down part. That is from here the current flow starts and you see here these two switches are closed. So, that's why from here it goes down and it reaches the ground state that is logic 0. Okay. So, that's why the, when both the, both the inputs are 1, the output is logic 0. So, that's why if, uh, if you see all these four combinations, the truth table of uh, NAND gate satisfies. So, that's why this circuit is named as 2 input CMOS NAND gate. Okay. So, hope it is clear with all the explanations mentioned here for all the four cases I have uh, drawn it here. Hope it is very, very clear. Please note everything down. Very important part. Okay. So, this was about complete uh, in, uh, explanation about CMOS 2 input NAND gate. Using this, so you could be con con constructing multiple in NAND gates also, 3 input, 4 input, it is based, to, based on you. So, if you want to construct 3 input NAND gates, so you should be uh, drawing one more PMOS transistor in parallel here and one more NMOS transistor in series here. But uh, they won't be asking the explanation part. If they ask the explanation of uh, 2 input NAND gate or NOR gate, they would be asking only for 2 inputs. Okay. So, that's why all these explanations are required for each input combination you should be explaining very thoroughly with the circuit as well as switch diagram. So, hope it is clear. So, that's all for this video guys. Hope you understood something from this video. So, this was about NAND gate. So, similarly, the same way we are going to explain about two input CMOS NOR gate in the next video. Okay. Nothing much, just similar to this only. Just uh, some operations are here and there. Okay. Let us see that in the next video. Okay. So, that's thank you guys for listening till here if you are listening. So, if you understood something, please like this video. Share this content to a huge number to your, with your friends, relatives, family, everywhere and make this video a huge success of VLSI because this subject is very, very important. Okay. So, that's all guys. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.